Timer ready and go. Number one, create an Oculus organization. Head to the link in the description and log in. Then click create new organization. Enter whatever organization name you want, check I understand, and then click submit. Number two, enable developer mode. Head into the Oculus app on your phone, making sure that your Quest is on and on the same network. Go to the settings tab, tap your headset, and once it's connected, tap more settings. Then developer mode and flip the switch so it turns blue. Number three, install ADB drivers. Go to the link in the description and check the terms and conditions box and hit download. Once it finishes, unzip the file and navigate all the way into the file until you see Android underscore winusb.inf. Right click the file and hit install. Number four, connect the Quest to your PC. If you don't have a USB-C to USB-A cable, then you can find a cheap one at the link in the description. Plug one end into the Quest and the other into your PC with your Quest on. Place the Quest on your head and there should be an allow USB debugging pop-up. Check always allow and hit OK. Number five, install SideQuest. Head to the link in the description and download and install SideQuest. Number six, open SideQuest. Once SideQuest finishes installing, open up the program and you're now ready to sideload applications from SideQuest. All you have to do is navigate to a game you want, click on it, and then hit the install latest button. A green bar will pop up on the bottom of SideQuest once the installation is done. Then all you have to do is unplug your Quest, place it on your head, and then in your library tab, head to unknown sources and you'll find all of your side-loaded apps there. There we go. See, I told you, less than two minutes. Happy questing, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more Oculus Quest content.